Let's bring in Tennessee Republican Senator Bob Corker. He's on the Senate Banking Committee. Senator, good morning. Good to have you with us today. Good morning, Mark. Good to be with you. Thank you. So what we're hearing is that he wants to know why Congress mm. has not been able to push through what he calls a bipartisan and paid for jobs bill that would stimulate <clears throat> construction spending in this country, as well as save teacher jobs and municipal jobs as well. What say you, sir? Martha, uh, the kind of solutions the president has put forth are an insult to American intelligence, and it just shows either his lack of ability to lead, lack of courage, or it shows a total misunderstanding of what's causing our economy to be like it is. There's only one thing that matters now to our economy, and that is for people across our country to know that we've dealt with the $5 trillion tax increase. Even President Clinton knows that at the end of the year and replace it with pro-growth tax reform and entitlement reform so that people across this nation know that we have dealt with the issue of solvency. They don't want us to be like Europe. This president has refused to lead on this issue and to know that he's going to have a press conference today where he's majoring in the minors, doing poll tested things that have nothing to do with causing our economy to be strong again is infuriating to those of us on both sides of the aisle that mm -hmm. know better. So fortunately, even Steny Hoyer, who last week was on television saying exactly what I'm saying, other leading Democrats know that the president doesn't have the courage to lead on this issue. And what infuriates me is at a time when I want to see Tennesseans with jobs and Americans with jobs, we have a president more interested in campaigning and throwing out poll-tested solutions than addressing the major issue of our country. So I'm infuriated mm -hmm. that he's having this tell. silly press conference today. Yes. I, I can tell. Infuriated. Uh, well, okay. Let me ask you this, because one of the things that he's been uh, okay. criticized for is blaming Europe, you know, sort of saying, I think that what we may hear this morning, based on what the statement had, that's come out, is, is that part of the problem yeah. is that the engines would be starting to turn because the president has, you know, sort yeah. of tried to get jobs uh, and the economy moving again, but then we got sort of hammered by what happened in Europe and that that right. has put us back on our heels and if only they would get it together, uh, it might help to right. release the dogs of a strong economy here. Yeah. The best thing we can do because of what's happening in Europe, China slowing, India slowing, is to inoculate ourselves from the same kinds of issues. And the only way to do that is to deal with the fiscal issues this nation faces and to put in place pro-growth tax reform. There is bipartisan consensus around that, but the president will not lead on this issue. And in the interim, our economy is going to heck in a handbasket. And again, I do not understand why he will not deal with the central issue that's driving this. The one thing that inoculates us from what's happening in Europe is for us to deal with our own issues. But we have a president who doesn't have the courage or ability to lead on that one issue. And what infuriates me is Tennesseans are being harmed by his lack of leadership. There are plenty of people in Congress that are ready for a real solution. I think he could get Steny Hoyer. I think he could get leadership of Congress to sit down and deal with this issue. Would, and let if me we ask you, did, Senator, the, what, what would they agree on? Okay. If, 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 you know, if the president were not in the mix for a moment, what, what could you guys and Steny okay. Hoyer agree on you know, over the course of the next couple of weeks that you could set in motion that you think would start to turn this in, in the right direction? Look, here, here, if you talk to any business person in this country, they will tell you that what they're concerned about is a $5 trillion tax increase at the end of the year that even right. Bill Clinton uh, has announced needs to be dealt with, okay? And the fact that our country is not dealing with its fiscal issues. So a combination of pro-growth tax reform and dealing with our entitlements so that people know we've put in the rearview mirror the same kinds of issues that Europe is dealing with now. That is the only thing that is going to get this economy going. And you think going that again. you, could, get, so uh, you could put together a deal with Steny Hoyer and others I don't on Capitol think, Hill? I don't, I don't think we can do it in two weeks, but I think if we put our minds to it, we could do it quickly. And remember, the president had his own commission he, that he put right. together that said exactly this a year and a half ago, our country 
would not be in the position that it's in today if this president had one iota of leadership on this issue. And again, that's why having this press conference to announce these little mealy mouth penny ante solutions that will do nothing at the macro level to really get this economy going because he's trying to act like it's Congress's fault. Right. It is the White House that is not led on this issue. And as you can tell, um, I'd like to solve this. I think there are numbers right. of people in Congress on both sides of the aisle that right. would. Thank you. Thank you. We've got to leave you there because we're going to try to uh, get, get back to this uh, news conference. And the okay. president has also been criticized for not spending enough time talking to folks in Congress and trying to put something together. Uh, Bob Corker, thank you very much for joining us, the senator thank you. from thank Tennessee you. this morning.